People across Southeast Michigan are preparing for Monday's total solar eclipse. After Monday, you'll have to wait 20 years to see the next one. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels brings us advice from NASA ambassadors who visited Trenton today, focused on the rare eclipse. During Monday's eclipse, the sun will be much more concentrated than it is on the average day. That's why glasses like this and other safety precautions really are imperative. What in the world? <laughs> For young ones like Sadie Brumba, Monday's upcoming total solar eclipse will be the first one that they have ever seen. I think it's going to be really cool. Why? Because it, there's going to be no stars. We plan to go to the park and invite some friends and... You know, I'm excited for that magical moment. Ahead of that magical viewing, the Brumbas. Can you tell us about the model you have here? And many others stopped by the Trenton Veterans Memorial Library to learn from Henry Ford College astronomy students and NASA Eclipse ambassadors how to watch the eclipse safely. It's like interesting. By the time the next one comes, I'll be dead. So I want to see that. <laughs> and this is an incredible scientific um, wonder that only happens once every decade if you're lucky. The pair of astrophysicists-to-be even helped us with their own Q&A. So we look at the sun, we take pictures of the sun. The day of the eclipse, why is it imperative that people are wearing eclipse glasses? If you look up at the sun on just a normal day, after a couple of seconds, you'll see a, a bright spot in your vision. Um, if you look at the sun during a total solar eclipse, that light is much more concentrated and will actually burn your retinas. And so you could go blind if you look at an eclipse without the, the safety glasses on. Is there a way that people can make sure the glasses they're getting are legit and effective? So yeah, they have a number on the inside. This is the ISO certification number. What is the safest way to watch the eclipse if you don't have glasses? Well, welding goggles are a good way to look at the eclipse if you don't have NASA glasses. Um, pinhole viewers. Monday's eclipse is the final total solar eclipse that will be seen over North America until 2044. This is your chance to experience that magic-like moment safely. In the picture, there's a bit of light around it. I liked seeing, I know I did, the, the progression of it and just, I thought that was amazing. For to be in Michigan during this one and just be able to see it is pretty incredible. If you aren't going to be in a complete totality viewing area on Monday, we will have live coverage for you right here on 7. See you then. In Trenton, Sarah Michaels, 7 Action News.